Hey vlog, it's Vendela here. I just picked you guys up from Mikey's house, so I'm currently standing in her kitchen. Um, but I wanna take you with me to go grocery shopping. This video is going to be focused on what we eat throughout our week to fuel our bodies for all the workouts that we do. Um, we just are probably going to show a few days of eating maybe one or two days of my cooking and eating, and then maybe one or two days of Mikey's cooking and eating. So I'm going to head to Trader Joe's right now, do my grocery shopping for the week. And then once I get home, I'll do a grocery haul for you so you can see what I got and see me stock the fridge. So yeah, let's head to Trader Joe's. just got home and unpacked the groceries and I'm gonna show you what I got and then put the groceries away so starting off over here we have some Aloha rolls then I got some marinara some peanut butter cups some spices fruit applesauce lemon lime garlic and avocado and potatoes and some flowers. And then over here we have our green onions, tomatoes, cucumber, salad, another salad for lunch, buffalo style chicken wrap, our juices and our milk, our eggs, cheese, ground beef, salmon, fries, fried rice, and hash browns. Okay, let's put these groceries away. So as you can see, we have pretty much nothing. That is it for the groceries. I just put the groceries away and I'm gonna start dinner. So I'm doing some cheeseburger sliders on those little pull apart Hawaiian rolls. Let's do it.
I just finished cooking. The cheeseburger sliders look really good. I'm about to take my first bite. We have some seasoned waffle fries on the side. And then I'm drinking my cherry limeade poppy. So let's see what it tastes like. I just did mayo, mustard, ketchup, onions, lettuce, and tomatoes on top of my sliders. Very good. 10 out of 10. These are the seasoned waffle fries from Trader Joe's and they're really good too. I'm gonna finish eating and then probably go to sleep because it's already 9.30. But I will check in with you all tomorrow. We're gonna do, we're gonna make breakfast together and lunch. So I will see you guys then. Good morning vlog. It's 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm just gonna do a smoothie and some eggs and hash browns. Gonna keep it light this morning since I'm heading to the track um, in about an hour. So let's make breakfast. eating breakfast now. I just have the hash browns, eggs, grapes, and my smoothie. I'm gonna finish eating and then I'm gonna head to the track. So I'll check in with you all later. Hey vlog, it is 2 p.m. I just got ready for work. I took a shower, got dressed and all of that. Now I'm going to eat lunch. Um, I usually just have something really small for lunch, like a sandwich or a salad. Um, if you saw my grocery haul earlier, you saw that I got this buffalo chicken wrap. So I think I'm gonna have this for lunch with some cucumbers and ranch, and then some applesauce. So I usually have like a sandwich or salad or sandwich wrap, and then some of the snacks that I got too. today I have that buffalo chicken wrap from Trader Joe's and then I just cut up some cucumber I have the strawberry applesauce that I'm gonna eat too. 
And I usually just drink water with my lunch. I'll have like a poppy or olipop with dinner. But other than that, I just drink water throughout the day. I think this is like a blue cheese dressing. Possibly. I don't normally like blue cheese, but this is pretty good. Ten out of ten. The buffalo chicken wrap isn't really spicy, but it does have a little kick. And it has like celery chunks in it, so it gives it a nice crunch too. Definitely recommend. Hey vlog. So I want to sit down and kind of walk through what my eating throughout the day typically looks like. I know I've kind of been jumping around in this video because I've had to film this over two days. So I'm going to try and just walk you through what my typical meals look like. So starting with breakfast. I usually like to get as much protein as I can in for breakfast. As you saw in the video, I like to have potatoes, um, usually have two eggs, and I will usually have sausage or bacon. I know I didn't show that yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling like having all of that right before running. Um, but on a typical day, I do eat two to three sausages or two to three pieces of bacon for extra protein. And then I also have yogurt, Greek yogurt on the side. Sometimes I like to make a smoothie and blend my Greek yogurt into that. I usually have some sort of juice with breakfast as well. That helps me get my vitamin C in. So I'll have pineapple juice or orange juice. And then fruit. So this week I got grapes and strawberries. So I eat my fruit with my breakfast too. I usually eat breakfast around 9.30 to 10 a.m. I usually wake up between 8.30 and 9. And then I'm not really hungry until like a, an hour after I wake up. So that's why I eat a little bit later. And for lunch, I usually have something light, like I said earlier. So I'll have a sandwich or a salad. And then I'll have like my little snacks on the side, which include fruits or veggies, cheese, chips, kind of just whatever I'm feeling. Um, sometimes I'll have a little protein bar or the... What are they? Beef sticks, the Chomps beef sticks, which are pretty good. Um, and that's kind of my lunch. I either eat here right before going to work or I eat at work. So I'll like pack a little lunch bag and bring it with me. Um, and I usually eat lunch around 2 or 3 p.m. With lunch, I usually just drink water. Um, I usually have gotten my workout in already because I typically work out between 11 and 1 p.m. So I'm just trying to rehydrate and refuel after my workout, especially if I've been outside at the track or on a run. So then I'll go into work and then after work is when I cook dinner. So I start cooking around 7.45 or 8 tonight. I will show you kind of my routine of cooking. Um, I'll show you what we're going to have to eat, but I like to mix up my dinner options. Well, each week I usually have pasta one night. And then I'll have like a chicken option one night and then some sort of fish option, maybe tacos one night. Um, but I do like to mix it up. If I have leftovers, I'll also eat those the next day for lunch. So I might have a few leftovers tonight from dinner that I can eat for lunch tomorrow. So yeah, that's what my typical day of eating looks like. I think I mentioned earlier, Mikey will be able to bring you along with her typical day of eating tomorrow. We couldn't film at the same time because we don't live together, so she'll walk you through what she eats in a day once I give her the camera tonight, then she'll film that tomorrow. And we might have a sit down where we talk through it together, but we might not. So I just wanted to sit with you guys and talk through what I like to eat and what my typical day of eating looks like. So. That is it. All right. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Hey vlog. I'm broken. I got home from work about an hour ago and I decided not to go to the gym because I injured my neck and back somehow. I don't know how. 
but it hurts really bad. So I'm skipping the gym today, but it is time to make dinner. So I'm gonna make our wild caught Alaskan salmon. Um, like I said, I'll do like a lemon citrus salmon and then some roasted potatoes. So let's get started. salmon is in the oven I just put everything on one baking sheet to make it easy um, so I have everything baking at 400 degrees it'll probably take like 20 minutes maybe a little bit longer for it all to be ready um, if the potatoes need a little bit longer I'll just put them back in take the salmon off but yeah I just used like the citrusy garlic seasoning from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on top after and then for the potatoes, I just did salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some crushed red pepper. So I'm gonna wait for that to be done, but that's pretty much it. So I'll eat dinner, I'll show you my plate, and then I'll eat, and then I'll give you guys to Mikey for tomorrow so she can show you her what I eat in a day. And that'll be it for the video. So I'll check in with y'all later. <laughs> cooking dinner so this is what my plate looks like so I'm gonna eat let me take a bite and see how it is that's really good the citrusy spice isn't as citrusy as I thought it would be so I might add some more lemon on top of my salmon This is one of my favorite flavors for poppy. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna finish eating. That concludes my what I eat in a day. I will catch up with you all later. Peace. Hey guys, it's Mikey. Now I'm gonna show you a few meals that I make throughout the week that are quick, easy, and delicious. We're starting off on Thursday night dinner. I'm gonna make a burrito bowl with carne asada. Let's get it. All right, y'all, these are my ingredients for my burrito bowl. As you can see, I have the carne asada from Trader Joe's, which is seasoned and marinated very nicely. For my toppings, I have black beans, pico de gallo, sour cream, Mexican cheese, some lime, and some Cholula to finish it off. For my drink, I have the Fly Bird Strawberry Margarita Wine Cocktail. You can get this from Sprouts or Whole Foods.
I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this on top of the carne asada. And then lastly, my hot sauce. All right, let's dig in and see how it is. Mmm, that's really good. Let's add a little extra lime on there. So it's currently 9 p.m. So this meal took no longer than 30 minutes to throw together. It's really simple. That's probably faster than if you were to order DoorDash um, for Chipotle or, or something similar. You can probably do this at home quicker than it would take your delivery driver to bring you your food. Also, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg like you would at Chipotle. And then for my drink, like I said, I'm drinking the Flybird Margarita Wine Cocktail. I did dilute it a little bit with some sparkling juice just because I still have a workout tomorrow. So I don't want to be too dehydrated from drinking this. But it's really delicious and it goes nice with my burrito bowl. All right, y'all, I'm really happy with how this came out. I'm gonna scarf down the rest of my dinner and then I'll see you in the morning for breakfast. Peace. Hey guys, it's Mikey. I'm back with another quick and easy meal to make throughout the week. This time we're doing breakfast. All right, so I'm gonna be making some fried rice with eggs and chicken sausage. All right, so these are the ingredients that I use for my breakfast fried rice. Chili onion crunch. I have some organic brown eggs. I have the Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice. And then I just have some soy sauce. And then I have my chicken sausage that I already made yesterday. So I'm just gonna dice it up and then throw it in the fried rice as it's cooking. All right, these are my smoothie ingredients. I'm just using some orange strawberry banana juice, organic blueberries, and then a frozen organic tropical blend that has strawberries, pineapple, peaches in it. And that's it. Before I get started with the cooking, I'm gonna have a juice shot. It has a thousand and ten percent of your daily vitamin C and it's a hundred percent cherry juice. Cheers. That was pretty tart. All right, let's get to cooking.
This is my finished product for my breakfast fried rice and my smoothie. All right, let's do a little taste test. First, my smoothie. That's so delicious. I love smoothies, especially during summer. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Look at that yolk. First bite, moment of truth. This is a 10 out of 10 breakfast. Yeah, so I got home about 30 minutes ago so this meal also only took less than 30 minutes to throw together. So this one is perfect for if you have a big day planned ahead. Or for me, I just did a morning workout so I was really hungry. And now I'm just catching up, making sure I'm starting my day right. This is really good. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my meal. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll be doing dinner later tonight. These are my ingredients for tonight's dinner. As you can see, we have our cheese and our tortillas. I also have the carne asada meat and the black beans already made from the previous dinner we had. And then I have my ingredients for my margarita on the left hand side as well. All right, let's get cooking. I'm gonna start off by making my cocktail. And this is my base ingredient. It is the Matador South Norte Pineapple Margarita. product. I don't know where the sun went, but let me do a taste test for you guys. Cheers. Mmm. That's delicious. Alright, let's make the rest of our meal. Alright, here's my finished product. This is a 10 out of 10 meal right here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna finish the rest of my dinner and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace. Hey y'all, it's Mikey. So I just wanted to go over the rest of the meals that I usually eat throughout the week. I know I made a few meals for you guys, but I wanted to give you guys more of a better picture of what I'm usually eating. So starting off with breakfast, I usually have some hash browns, some sausage, and some eggs in the morning. Sometimes I'll make an avocado toast with over easy eggs on top. Or like you saw in the video today, I made fried rice with eggs. I like to throw in protein to my breakfast, um, typically through having some sort of sausages and eggs. I'll also sometimes make a steak in the morning. Um, so I'll have steak and eggs, which is really good. But yeah. That's what I usually have for breakfast. 
And for a beverage, I'll usually have either water or orange juice. Sometimes I'll have a smoothie like you saw in the video, but I also have smoothies later in the day as well. So moving on to lunch, I'll typically do something pre-made like a sandwich or a salad from Trader Joe's, or I'll have some leftovers from whatever I made from dinner the night before. And then for dinner, I like to do a lot of like protein and some sort of carb on the side. So maybe chicken and rice. I like, I like to make orange chicken. I also like barbecue chicken, which is really good. Or I'll do like salmon and rice or some sort of other fish like, uh, like cod. I like to make blackened cod, which is really delicious. And then on the side, I'll also try to incorporate some veggies sometimes. So maybe doing some grilled Brussels sprouts or throwing in a side salad. That pretty much wraps up the three meals that I have throughout the day. I also have snacks and protein shakes. So typically I'll have my protein shake an hour or so after whatever workout that I do that day. Um, I just make that with uh, the protein powder, I throw in some frozen fruit, and then I use uh, whatever juice that I have in my fridge. And then for snacks throughout the day, I'll, I like to snack on fresh fruit. So if I have grapes or some sort of melon or maybe some apples and caramel, that's really delicious. I also have fruit snacks like typical snack items, Cheez-Its, chips, stuff like that. Yeah, so I'll just be snacking randomly throughout the day whenever I'm hungry, but it's not quite time to eat yet. So those are pretty much the meals that I have on a day-to-day -day basis. I get all of my groceries from either Trader Joe's or Rayleigh's. I try to make sure that I buy organic produce and things like that, but I also use name brand things for other stuff. Yeah, so that pretty much wraps up everything that I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Vendela already talked about everything that she does earlier, so that pretty much concludes everything for this video. I'm glad that both of us were able to share what we eat on a daily basis, just to give you guys some inspiration or ideas. And that pretty much wraps up this week's video. If you liked it and want to see more videos like this in the future, let us know in the comments. Other than that, you know the drill. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram at mv.lift. Peace, y'all!